Welcome to Aedo Castle. Transform. Once again, more epic music. Literally, I'm just going to gush to shit lengths about this music. This music is amazing. Best soundtrack of any video game ever ever played. So make sure you grab all these pots in here. If every single one of them gets 20 and there's six of them, that means 120 free Rio. You can pretty much just enter and exit this castle multiple times. And in as short as like 10 minutes, you can have 999 Rio. I don't really want to do that because there's no purpose to. And also that feels kind of cheap. To be fair, Rio's not very important. I mean, there's some awesome stuff you can buy with it. Especially stuff like that'll heal you completely if you fall. Or will just activate at certain points, but... I don't know. It's not very... Not very... Wow, that was great. Okay, let's try that one again. <laughs> Come on, Ross. Actually demonstrate some skill. Yep. There we go. Yep. So right over here, we got ourselves a key. Yep. Once again, very much like Zelda. So wait for the camera to pang over. Camera to pang over. Camera to pan sham over. Camera to pang over. Pan over. For fuck's sake, Ross. Now let's open up the key. Another very cool thing about the music that you guys are going to possibly notice, possibly, possibly notice, is that as you go through the temples and through the castles, or through just regular areas, the music will actually upgrade as it goes along. So for example, as we get further into this uh, castle, there's actually going to be a bit more to the main, a bit more to the music as it goes along. It's sort of like, have you ever played Dragon Warrior on NES? Uh, you guys, because if you have, that's pretty much what it's like. Every time you go down a uh, flight of stairs, the music gets more and more intense as the tone like lowers, I suppose would be the correct word for it. However, in this game, it's not so much that. Huh, I figured there would have been a pop back there, whatever. It's not so much that, it's that as you go through, uh, more and more instruments start to play along with the music. It's especially noticeable in a Festival Village Temple which is the third one we're going to be doing. This is the first one right here. This is Oedo Castle. So. This guy right here is Mr. Elephant. Now you have access to the map inside the castle. I don't really get it. I, I just don't get the story at all. I fucking hate these turtles, by the way. You sort of have to wait for them to rise. These always slowed me down a lot. It's also noticeable that when you jump on these things, you have less jump distance. So keep that in mind. Anyway, you want to get on the elephant, or turtle, goddammit. Wait for it to race as far as it can go, and make the jump. That part always troubled me as a kid, because I never knew you had to actually wait, so I jumped there for like five minutes at a time. At a time. Alright, next door. Howdy. Whoop. Ow. Well, I tried. Once again, I prefer the Rio so much more. Anyway, inside this room, you're going to have to deal with flying tatami mats. See, what I like for this room is to do this. Aha, bitches. What you got on me now? Ha! Ha ha! Ooh. Aw, oh, maybe I should start swinging. Yeah, the things just disappear if they don't hit anything, but if you hit them, they have a chance of dropping money. So, risk and reward, I suppose. Also, wasn't this supposed to give me something for getting them all? Yeah. Um, hello? Where's my key? Unless there's one flying around somewhere and it glitched. Odd. Rather odd. I got absolutely nothing for that. Okay, let's try that one again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what just happened there. Maybe the game forces you to destroy a certain amount. I don't know. All right, let's actually sit over here and destroy them this time. This room's not very difficult. Also, I love little things like this, where there's just like little mechanics that don't mean anything. Yet, oh uh, yeah, I guess you did have to destroy a certain amount. I love things like this, where there's certain mechanics to the game that really don't serve any purpose anywhere else. To my knowledge, I don't think there's another part of this game where the tatami mats start flying up and trying to kill you, which is really strange for a game. It has a long list of unique and fun puzzles and ideas to it. Like, there's a ridiculous amount of puzzles that are completely unique to certain rooms. 
they really utilize this game and all it could be used for. It's a very fun game. It's a very, very fun game. Definitely top 10 worthy. Hell, even top 5. Anyway. Better watch out for these guys, because they jump on you, and that's actually rather annoying of them. Yep. Eh. And... Boom. Yeah, I didn't really demonstrate what those guys do. Basically, uh, they will charge at you if you let them. See, here you go. There you go. They go around swinging their flowers. I don't really get it. Again, this is all Japanese tradition shit, so I, I don't really know what they're going for. Alright, so right there we got the gold key. Yes, there are different colored keys. The gold key does not necessarily mean the boss key. The boss key is... Actually, is there a boss key in this game? No, there's a platinum key. The platinum key is the very last key you usually get, or the last door you open. There's a bunch of silver keys, and to my knowledge, there's only one gold key. So, I don't understand why there's, like, multicolored keys. In reality, there's almost no point to it at all. But, whatever. It's not really much of a nitpick, because it's just a game decision they decided to make, and it doesn't really affect anything at all. If I had to nitpick anything about this game, I suppose there would be plenty... However, they'd be very, very, very slight nitpicks. For example, I don't think this camera is the best I've ever seen. To be fair, it works, but it doesn't always work as great as it could. Anyway, that's where we can use the gold key, but before we go use the gold key, let's go in here and see what we got. Ah, look at that, a restock area. Always be careful with these restock areas, because you never know when bullshit's about to spawn hop yet or whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. Ambush is supposed to be the word, Ross, but I don't know. It sounds like it's a stolen word, so I'm not going to use that. <coughs> I didn't even need that. Alright, let's keep moving. Okay, next door. And we get to go experience a little bit of a cutscene. Sort of, but not really. Let's go experience it. As you can hear it, listen to the music. Notice that? Bump. You hear that? Isn't that awesome? Hell yeah. Also, apparently there's a plaque over here. Whatever. Yep. As you get to the second half of the temple, the music upgrades. It's awesome. And it rises right up this way. Just kidding, there's no cutscene. You'd think there would be a cutscene after a giant lift like that, but there isn't. Okay, now the dumplings are attacking me. Uh, leave. Oop. Oop. Damn it. I was going to go through that whole thing without getting hit. Got him. Gotcha. Bam. Goddamn. Sometimes I'm just going to listen to this music. Also, don't step on that. <laughs> That'll wreck ya. So you got these raising chain platforms. Going to jump from them to each other. And right over here, this one that doesn't fall, there's another silver key. Grab the silver key and use it right here. Well, over there, if you wanted to. However, you can also go through this door. And here's where you can find these little guys. These guys are not that difficult. I don't know what the hell they're supposed to be. I think they're like little toy drum things. Whatever. So right over in this corner, you got yourself another Silver Fortune Cat doll. How many does that make? Well, with three more, your strength gauge will increase a little bit more. That's always the most, you know, it's just not a great feeling whenever you have three more to collect. It's like, why well, even collect them? And then once you start to get to the last one you need, you're like, oh man, I'm so close, I'm so close. And when you finally get it, it's just so satisfying. Getting hard containers is obviously just one of the most fun parts about Zelda games and games like this. It's just fun, man. It's just fun getting more hearts. Makes you look like you've done better. Anyway, run along this room. You didn't really have to do that. You can pretty much just swim to the turtle and skip that part entirely. Anyway, ow. I hate this fucking bullshit. Not very good at it. Yoink! It doesn't matter all that damage I took. Get it instantly back. This guy? Right here, this is Mr. Arrow. When you get Mr. Arrow, he's going to tell you the location of the boss. Simple as that. We got a door over there we can't unlock, so we have to go through this door and go through one more puzzle to get that key. Alright. Let's continue onward. Alright, this room. Yep. Well, that was great. Damn it. I have to actually find these. Damn it. I was going to go through this room, be a boss. See, look, look at the camera here. You can't really panic yourself, you sort of have to like get into a corner where the camera won't hit a wall, and you have to wait for it to adjust itself. It's a little annoying. But to be fair, it actually helps a lot with combat. 
to have it this way. You won't have to worry about the camera, like, adjusting and going spazzing the fuck out. It gives it a second to actually pan. Like, see, look. It sees that you're not doing anything, and then it starts to pan. Which I like. Unlike the games where it just starts going crazy, no matter what the fuck you do. Because it feels like you're entitled to have the camera facing you at all times. When in reality, it is nice to have the camera away from you when you're fighting. Like, right here, it's nice to have the camera in your control. Not to be like, oh, and then the camera pans over, give it a second, see? It's annoying when you're in combat. You don't want it panning all over the fucking place, and you can't control yourself. So the game's very fair in that regard. Anyway, over here we got ourselves another sofa key. Yep. This first temple has a lot of keys. I actually don't think there's that many in the following temples. Anyway, what the hell is that? It looks like a giant rock, but it's actually a hand. Now, believe it or not, this part right here, you can actually come back in once the temple's done and get some free shit. Yes, if you go over there, you are actually going to find a shitload of pots, and it is a great way to collect some extra money. However, that's really all it's good for. You actually don't get anything else from it. So, not that important. Not that important. Did I just say important and pertinent at the same time? Important. What the fuck? Whatever. Also, other things that respawn? The health upgrades. Yeah. Huh. This game? Easy? Indeed. Let's keep moving. Oh, God. Yeah. Stupid things. Oh, these ninja guys. These ninja guys are assholes. Good thing they never appear in this game. They like, hardly ever appear. Total assholes. Very accurate and very fucking annoying. Thank God they never appear. However, there is going to be a couple that appear right here. I hate these things so much. Whatever. Not too bad, I guess. Grab yourself some more money. Dumpling. And we can roll out. If you're not impressed by the music just yet, oh, just you wait. There are some great tracks in this game. Alright. Let's keep moving. I've got a pot over there. You know, I'm not even going to bother going for that. It's just a pot. I think. Is there a key over there? No, it's just a pot. The pot just holds some money, and that's not really... Wow. It's almost like I got crushed in midair. Like, crushed into the bottomless pit. Although I wasn't really. Anyway, you can just skip this platform altogether. <laughs> Alright. This to rise. Out of the you. And haha! -ha. Next door. Now we get ourselves a cutscene after a lift. Here we go. Anything inside the room I'm forgetting? No. Oh! Wait, what the hell's that? Oh, that's not fine. It's just a little patch. Up we go! Ooh, so. I was sure I heard something down there. Was it you guys? What the? Well, who in the world are you? My name is Baron. I've come to make Oedo Castle a beautiful stage. Stage? What do we need a stage for? Gumon, this smells like danger to me. Why don't we just grab this weirdo by the throat and beat him up a bit? Who are you calling weirdo? <laughs> the fucking laugh track. Yes, this game has a laugh track. It deserves it. Maybe I'll just have to beat you up. Ha 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 ha. good show. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Okay. Let's just get going. So, you got ourselves a sliding to Tommy. I don't know what the hell you call it. Just sliding doors. Free silver fortune doll right there. That's up. And some free health. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Floating in midair for some reason. Alright, guys. Through this door. It's time to fight the first boss. Already. Oh, shit. It's Congo, the King Robot. So how do we fight this guy? Well, here's how. You beat the shit out of him. Very funny. This guy... He can't even hit you with his fire breath as long as you're directly underneath him. And you pretty much just beat the shit out of him. He starts his laser attack, and then you play a game of jump rope. Although, not like that, because that's bad. Okay, come on, Ross. So then he stops his lasers, 
And he comes in for the lasers again. I forgot I did that. Yeah. I'm sucking against him. What the f- Okay. This A button's so late. Blame it on the A button, Ross. Come on. So after he does it twice, he does it a third time. Wow. I'm gonna lose to Congo. Come on, Ross. Come on, Ross. This guy fucking sucks. Stop getting your ass kicked by Congo. So beat him up a bit. And there you go. Actually, you know what? I think I was doing that wrong. You had to go up and beat him up. You didn't have to wait for his fire breath. So you beat him up some more. He starts his lasers. You get out of the way. And then you rinse and repeat. I wonder if you can just go around in a circle. No, not really. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's all you have to do. You don't even have to wait for his lasers. He's only lasers when you don't hit him. Can you go around beating the shit out of this Ambra Andros clone? Can't hit him when he's doing his lasers, unfortunately. Whatever. Yeah. I know you must be saying at this point, what the fuck does this have to do with anything fighting this guy right now? And the answer is, there is no answer, because this game does whatever the fuck it wants. Oh, this game. I used to think you had to duck his fire, but no, you don't. You just beat the shit out of him. And it just sort of works. Also, this must be the toughest boss in the world. He has taken so much pipe, pipe smacks in the face. He takes so much abuse. Hell, I, I'm convinced he has more hit points than any other boss in this game. You just beat the shit out of him. And he's still going for it. Get out of here, you Andros clone. No one likes you. Stupid Congo. Ever since the whole bullshit in the beginning, I haven't even been hit. This is the whole game here, folks. Get used to it. <laughs> Random increments like this. I love it, though. This game's amazing. And that's the end. <clears throat> Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Holy shit. Tari explosions. They're awesome. And down drops a crescent symbol. Pick it right up. <clears throat> Receive the miracle moon in the shape of a moon. Well, the moon. There's not. Um. Well, yeah, there is. I guess just the moon. I don't know. Well, good job, guys. <sighs> We're safe now, thanks to you. Lord, what has become of Oedo Castle? And suddenly, there was a bright light. The next thing I knew, well, look around you. From outside. The whole castle transformed when that peach beam hit. I remember. That strange man was yelling like instant stage beam. <clears throat> instant what? That's a strange name. Ha 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 ha. By the way, where'd that weirdo go? He rushed off in an awful hurry. I've got a favor to ask of you. Or I've got a favor to ask of you. Sorry, I sound like my daughter there for a second. Sometimes I like to impersonate her stupid voice. Could you catch the guys that did this to Edo Castle for me? I beg you. You bet. We won't let you down. We can't let anyone do something like this and get away with it. Good. I knew I could count on you. Oh, I almost forgot to take this with you. As long as you've got this, you'll be able to open the gates. And here you go, guys. <clears throat> we got the title deed. The Super Pass. Oh, yeah. I'm counting on you. Do you wish to save the game? Indeed I do. Very well. And why don't we just continue on, because... Honestly, how long did that take? To beat the first temple... This is just a demonstration of how long that took. That took 42 minutes to beat the first temple. That's pretty fast. And the game just gets, uh... Well, longer from here, but at the same time... We're gonna continue going through at the same speed. Let's keep going, guys. Rock it. Like I said, this is supposed to be a short project, so I better make it so. Yep. I'm probably going to be going for less fortune dolls then, therefore. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter that much. Alright. So, now that we have the super pass, we can now leave town, which we couldn't do originally. I suppose there's some law about not leaving, like, lordship and all that fun stuff. I don't fucking know. But, we have the official word of the 
you lord for us to leave this town. That's a pretty good word right there. Let's just get going. So where exactly do we go, you might be wondering. Well, there's another exit, which I'm going to be going to, and I'll be demonstrating some stuff over there as well. And I know he's coming. Go over here, you bastard. He makes a beeline straight for you. So, hit him with the pipe. Get the fuck out of here. Hopefully I never have to demonstrate what he actually does, because he's kind of an asshole. 